Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about what you did in the fall to get prepared for your rifle hunt for buck season. Uh, we've got a two acre plot here. I planted it really late July, early August. Still green as could be. I have plants over a foot tall, purple top turnips. Big old purple tops over a foot tall. Still got lots of greens in the field. So anyhow, the topic is, what did you do wrong? Oh, well, you know, if you planted a plot and it's totally mowed down, so many factors that go into it. It's not a shaming video, it's not a bragging video that, you know, mine's better than yours. Just asking the question to go back and try to figure out what went wrong? You know, you, you've got to get your pH right, got to get your fertility right, get your seeds in the ground with moisture, and the weather has to be just about right for you, too. Uh, so many factors, but don't skip that soil sample. For under 20 bucks, you can get all that stuff just about where you need it to be. Uh, anyhow, yeah, this is the week of Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a good archery season here in PA. Buck season's coming Saturday. And uh, just a little food for thought. Just what could you change next year if you weren't happy with your plots this year? For me, uh, I like what I did here. Um, and I'll show you some video here in a little bit. I'll turn the camera around and let you look around. But as far as the plot goes, it was right. You know, got winter wheat and purple tops in here. And me and I grew some really nice purple tops in here. Um, and this will be the first thing that greens up in the spring, all of this winter wheat. Um, there's plenty of purple top greens left, even this late in the season. So they're gonna have a lot to eat up until really, really hard winter hits. So. And even at that point, maybe they'll be digging for those bulbs. So, just asking the question, what did you do wrong? Did you do anything wrong? Did you get it right? Um, I actually have a plot across the street that's a little less, it's about a third of an acre. What I, I had everything right fertility-wise and pH-wise in the soil. I didn't plant enough. I got hammered over there. It's a third of an acre. I had 15 deer a night in it. They hammered it. Right now, it's about this high you know, maybe two inches. They just mowed it off. They still come to it. It's not a complete fail, but if I want to keep that plot going, I either got to thin the deer out or plant more. So, just a few things to think about. So many things go into this. You're talking about your, your we had a mean drought here this, this summer uh, that severely affected things. I hit it just right. I planted during the rain and expecting rain. So I had the moisture. Um, you know, some places had extreme rain, wet conditions. That's another thing. You got to get into places. You got guys trying to put stuff in the woods. You got to have enough sunlight. And there's so many factors that go into it. And it's a work in progress. It's trial and error. What you think you didn't do right this year, try and fix. But don't get discouraged. Keep doing what you're doing. Just get better, learn more. And if you've got any questions, drop them down below. I'll try to answer them. Um, I'll tell you what I did. You can watch the video, see what I did. I've got a whole series called Pasture to Plot that I'm standing in. This used to be an old horse pasture. And for 20 years, and I, I turned it into a food plot this year. It was tough, but there's a whole series you can watch. So I'm going to turn the camera over and show you what I did. I, I planted winter wheat in the whole field and went back and forth with purple tops. And uh, what I did is I bent those rows of purple tops over to the tree line to where I was putting tree stands. 
So there's a little tip for you. You can draw them toward you by planting certain things and bending it right at you. So I'm going to turn the camera on, get some extra pictures. I want you guys, you know, don't be discouraged. Like I said, it wasn't a shaming video. Um, you just keep at it. And hopefully you like the content that I put out. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Follow along. We do a lot of uh, food plotting and hunts. I appreciate you subscribing. Thanks for watching.